<laughs> Welcome to the Builder Factory! You're probably wondering why you're in this place. It's just because the game designer wanted the level to be small. My name is Bill Durr, and today I'm going to be your worst nightmare. <coughs> Guide through the game mechanics. Let's start with the basics. Follow me. You know what to press, don't you? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We'll be testing the Builder Simulator now. This game, I had a demo out a while back. I wasn't able to play it, but the developers have been listening to the community and decided to make the whole tutorial. Plus, now we have Planner. The game has changed quite a bit. And again, I'm not sure exact date this can be released on Steam, but if you want to put it on your wish list, I'll put a link in the description down below. And if you're brand new, again, if you guys are enjoying this, please take time hit like the button. If you're brand new, please want to subscribe. And of course, hit the notification bell to be notified. Yes, we're going to jump in and have some fun and learn a little more about this because uh, this little buddy over here is going to show us a little bit more of the mechanics of the game, which we're going to jump in today. And if you guys want to see more after that, we can maybe do the platter part of it. We can build your own house and put everything down. But today, I want to learn a little more about how things the work. The tool wheel is available under the scroll or under the left bumper on the gamepad. Try it now. There we go. Under the Q key, you'll always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As soon as you move the controller, the game swaps the controls to it. This way, you'll never get lost. Fantastic! <laughs> My maker always said that everything needs a solid base. Let's start with foundations. Select a shovel from the tool wheel and dig the area for foundations. All right, so right over here we got to dig. Oh, this is a lot easier than it used to be. <laughs> Holy moly! I'm liking this. Cool stuff. Yeah, I mean, that game has... You can plan and build your own house if you want to. Uh, there's a lot of options and stuff. We're going to look at that, hopefully. As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need to build. Press tab or select on gamepad to open the store. Good job. Choose the first store available. Now on the left is a list of available categories according to the stage of construction. You can change the number of items you want to buy to one, 10, or 100. Buy 100 formworks and reinforcements. Okay, we'll buy Great 100 job. of each. Did you know that by holding down the left mouse button or the right trigger on the gamepad, you can insert them in the blink of an eye? Each stage of construction shows holograms to help you visually indicate which stage you are currently at. You know oh, the joke about how one person works and the rest just watch? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this guy i have to tell you i i wasn't too sure about having a tutorial like this with this Next guy but up is reinforcement. okay same principle as with formworks click or hold oh this is pretty darn cool uh, yeah last time we played this it was a very difficult to go back and forth pick up a whole bunch of stuff and the demo was well even the developers mentioned they just they had to redo the whole thing and they just worked at it and we did the game after listening to the whole community's uh, opinions and stuff and it looks like it worked out pretty darn good, good job. looks nice now it's time for the creme de la creme Ooh. pouring the foundations oh yay go to the wheelbarrow and pour concrete over the foundations Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, builders waiting just for you. Oh, look at that. It just goes in like this now. Before you had to t tilt the wheelbarrow to the left, now you used to spill it everywhere. What type of construction are dogs good at? Roofing! Oh my god, dude. Dad jokes and all. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> did that do it? No, it didn't do all of it. Okay, you have to be a little bit patient and get it done properly there, but I mean, we can always go back and finish up a little bit. All right. Let's just get all that in here. I know we can also mix the cement in the prior demos. I think it's still in here. We actually have to do our own mixing and getting all the materials we need to work it out and build. Uh, but this is just a tutorial to learn a little bit about how the mechanics work, which is great. Uh, honestly, you need it. You need, we all need it. We need to figure out how this all works. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> like I said, might have screwed up somewhere. That's it for this part. I'll see you at the concrete mixer in a bit. Welcome back. <laughs> You're probably wondering, how come you had concrete in your wheelbarrow in the previous level? The game designers didn't want the stage to be too long. Let's find out how to make it. 
All right, yeah, let's do it. Oh, this is awesome. Even the character with the little uh, mixer in back room. two types of mixes. Mortar and concrete. Mortar is needed to join the blocks. Concrete, on the other hand, is used for foundations. Let's start by turning on the concrete mixer. You will lose one dollar for each second you leave the concrete mixer on. What? So make it quick and if. Oh my god, we are losing money. All the ingredients you need can be found around the concrete mixer. Above the concrete mixer, there are the ingredients you need to create a mortar. Start with the sand. Take your shovel and put some in. Right, shovel it is. Oh, yeah, look at that on top. That's pretty cool. Boom. <laughs> that guy really into it there. Okay. Great. Yes. Now it's time for cement. Add some from the bags on the ground. Okay. Good. All you need now is a bucket of water that you can find in your tool wheel. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, where's the water? Oh, I put a little bit too much, I think. That's good. Did I do the job properly? No, we're just waiting for it to Ooh, mix up, I guess. That was tough. What if I told you you could do it much simpler and faster? Oh, uh, yeah? Then what? So we need to pick concrete. And click the auto switch to make it automatically. Its cost will be a bit more, but it's way faster. Oh, good. Great power comes with great responsibility. <laughs> such as budget. Okay, so we got that. Improve your quality of life even more. You don't have to drive around with a wheelbarrow all the time. Open the tool wheel and choose the wheelbarrow. The game will teleport the wheelbarrow under the mixer at no additional cost! <laughs> How cool is that? Now that you have everything you need, you can pour the concrete from the mixer into the wheelbarrow. Amazing, right? We're not going to pour the foundation again because there's no point. But we'll see each other in the next stage very soon. Oh my god, that's so Wait much fun. The hell up, Builder! We have a concrete screen to dig! Enough Easter eggs. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God! Tell you the truth, this is really cool. We uh, it, it, this is a lot easier too. Before we did the concrete, it used to be a mess, Every a big mess. Every building a proper concrete screen. Let's continue with what we've prepared at the first stage. Get your shovel and dig the ground. Okay, let's get a shovel and dig this all up. Nice. That's a frig load easier, isn't it? Holy moly. Very nice. Good job. Now we have to buy some reinforcements. Every house you build needs reinforcement to make concrete more durable. Buy 30 grid reinforcements. Now place them on the foil. Okay. I'm all down here. Okay. 
Man, it's pretty detailed too of the now, stuff he can do in this. Concrete. You already have it waiting in the wheelbarrow. Thank you. Cheating is fun sometimes, huh? <laughs> oh, Pour it over. Oh my god, that's too funny. Am I a joke to you? Oh my god. Pour it over. Got it. Okay. I guess we have to wait. We actually have to pour it all the way up to the top. Yeah, look at that. It wasn't all the way filled. Interesting. Okay. Great work. It was scarier in previous demo, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. It wasn't even working properly, but no one noticed. <laughs> now, every building needs an insulation. Fun fact. You should do it both in the walls and in the foundations. First, buy 30 insulations in the shop. Okay. 30. Oops. Oops, my god. Now place the insulation over. Okay, we're gonna place this down in here. That's why you can't click and hold, okay. Actually, have to place it. Alright, cool. Gotcha. Sound like it cut it too, did you hear that? That was pretty nice. Very nice. All right, let's do this. All right, right down here. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at the leveling, too. It's pretty darn nice. Can I get the wheelbarrow on top of that? That's good news, because I'm getting worried there. I was going to screw myself over. following the procedure? <laughs> I bet you didn't. <laughs> That's it! Okay. Now you're done with the concrete screen loop. It'll get a lot better and rewarding from now on. Simulators must reflect reality, but we have prepared a lot of interesting solutions for you that will speed up your work considerably. After a while, crocodile, it's time for the load-bearing walls. Quickly! To the Batmobile uh, uh, training room! <laughs> I'll take you through it on the way. There are certain types of walls. In our game, there are three types of walls. Bearing, partition, concrete partition walls. Trust me, it's the most rewarding part of the construction. Up to your voice, buddy. <laughs> You'll see the effects immediately. You'll need to get hollow blocks from the shop. Buy 100 of them now. All right, over here, bearing walls and 100 blocks. All right. Fantastic! Now it's time to pick up mortar. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. Oh, nice. That way you don't have to go back and forth. You're taking notes from the last demo, huh? <laughs> In Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great! Now place the hollow block on it. Level up! I oh, never okay. thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Now you've unlocked... Double hollow block placement. Give it a try. Double hollow block placement? You leveled up again. Uh. Holy <laughs> cow. Let's see what happens now. Amazing. It reminds me of the Egyptian buildings I have in my data. Let's put up the scaffolding. Oh my god. Scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights. Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel. You can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. And not only that, you can also move it very precisely with the scroll wheel. Good work. You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. Tell you a secret about layer 12. The 12th layer is the lintel layer. <laughs> Ever heard of it? Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. 
Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Buy one lintel from the shop. Okay. Right. It's time to place it oh. in the hologram. Pick yourself around here, and then we'll place it down here. Fabulous! Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. Some would say the sky's the limit. But for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> oh my god. Enough dad jokes. Oh, it is dad the jokes. Ceiling blocks in the hologram. Extraordinary. After your work, dismantle your scaffolding with drill. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. Yes, we do have photo mode. The next step will be the partition walls. Welcome back. Eager to learn more? Today you will learn how to insert doors and windows. It's pretty cool and easy. Follow me. Oh my god, yeah, definitely. Oh man, they did a really, really good job on this. Uh, the game has completely, well, at least the demo, Every changed. Every building needs a door to enter and windows to bring light into the house. Our game is no different. Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? You don't have to do it this time. But you need to know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. Let's start with doors. Buy one outside door. All right. Windows and doors. Bye. Right. Select it from the inventory and look at the entrance of the house. You may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust it using the scroll bar. Hologram will turn green when it's done. The spirit level moves with the door and will show you the correct position when the door lights up green. Great job! Now you have to screw in the hinges. Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. All the screws that need to be screwed in always light up orange. Imagine cool. using a screwdriver. Now it's time for wedges. Simply fill them in by clicking on the highlighted areas. There we go. One, two, four. Good stuff. Now you know how to insert a door. You can even open and close them by clicking on them. Don't worry about the foam. We'll talk about it later. Amazing! Let's move on to windows. There are two types of windows. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. Buy one window from the shop. It's really cool that the player party is talking about is that we can actually Nicely uh, done. build our own house. It's now really nice. try inserting them just like a door. Same principle, same fun. Now it's time to put in all the screws you need. Let me inside, of course. All right, there we go. are used to support and stabilize the window in the window opening. Did you see how the foam filled itself after the wedges were inserted? We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. Remember that every window requires a sill or threshold. 
Adjust it like you did with window and door. All right, so install a cell. Adjust this. Here you go. What Perfect. is the lightest kind of building you can construct? A lighthouse! <laughs> oh my god. Great! Look at the patio window next to you. You can see the difference. That's everything for doors and windows. Ah, my friend! Partition walls are my hobby. My neighbors also love to hear the drill. <laughs> Ask them. <laughs> They'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Let's go to the training room. Let's do it, dude. Oh, I can't go till you arrive. Partitions separate rooms from each other and should, therefore, have the best possible sound insulation properties. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Of course, you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the purpose of the tutorial, on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. Hmm? To build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, and wall profiles. Buy 100 profiles in the shop. 100. Now place them in the holograms and screw them in with a drill. Okay. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Good job. Now we have something to screw the plasterboard to. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> By 100 plasterboards. He likes to buy a lot of plaster boards. All right, let's do it. Well done. Now place them on one side. Looks great. After installing the plaster board, you'll need to use nails to attach it. Take your drill out and screw them in. Screw in my nails. Plaster board screws. So good. Nice. Good. Every wall needs to be insulated. Rock wool is often used to do that. Buy 20 rock wools in the shop. Okay. Excellent. To lay the plasterboard on the other side of the wall, you must first lay insulation between them. Select it from the inventory and insert it in the missing places. Lovely. Attach one more plasterboard on the other side. Okay. This is how partition walls are insulated. The profiles must be fixed to the floors and ceiling, and the plaster boards to the profiles. There's also a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Assembly is very different. First, you need to lay a damp-proof course by 20 insulation. Now, place it on the ground. Roger that, dude. Good job. Remember what you've done with bearing walls? You need some mortar. You'll find it in the wheelbarrow. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. <laughs> Place mortar! Oh. Everything's ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel. All right, so let's go build this baby up. Oh, well, it's, yeah, it's nice. All right, so we're going to build this up. We're going to try to grab these. Okay, on top of that. And I think we need to get the trowel back out, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Nice trowel back. The trowel needed or not? Oh, it's here too. 
Okay, they didn't let me do that before, but now it's all good. Let's just do that. And some more of that wonderful stuff. <laughs> this guy's too funny, I swear to God. I'm actually I enjoying this quite a bit. All right, and right there. Nice. And I think I just press five now, switch over. Sweet. I think it's going to get a little more difficult. We're going to need a little step ladder, I think, here. Step scaffolding, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Want to hear a construction joke? Nope. Wait, <laughs> I'm still working on it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Um, yeah, let's pick this up and place it over here. Can I rotate that a bit? There we go. Nice. Uh, we're going to need to uh, put down some stuff. Perfect. And we're going to need to put down another block or two here. Okay. And then we need the number six. Boom. Look at that. It's pretty cool. I mean, like I was saying, that all the stuff you can actually do in this game. And then you got to actually build it. It's pretty darn good. It's simple enough to have fun and actually build and not get stuck overdoing it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it can get really tedious in some games. This is nice. Or fun thing is that you can destroy them. <laughs> oh no! But first, you have to mark with an eraser which wall you want to destroy on the planner. This time, I'll do it for you automatically. Got your back, Jack. If you are not happy with the partition walls, take a hammer in your hand and destroy them. Nice. You've already got the walls covered. I wonder what's next. Hello, my fellow builder. What goes up and down? What stays in the same place? Stairs. Follow me. <laughs> Freak. Let's go, dude. Oh, my goodness. You can build any shape of house. You can build a house as big as the plot of land will allow you to. Oh. But to get to the floor of your house, you need stairs. In some cases, a no clip is sufficient, but this is only in creative mode. This stage will be simple, but maximally rewarding. Buy one staircase in the shop. Good. Great. Now select them in your inventory and place them where you've marked them on the planner. With a scroll wheel, you can precisely move the stairs to the right and left. Amazing! Hmm, the more I look at them, I think they don't fit. As I am not annoying at all, I will pretend to be your favorite customer who does not know what he likes. <laughs> you need to change them. This also applies to game and software development. Oh. <laughs> Tear them down with your hammer! Nice! Now buy different stairs in the shop. You're quick! Place the stairs again. See how simple and satisfying it is? That is hard to go stairs. Way, you're able to test different solutions immediately without having to monotonously build up the entire structure. We want you to have fun after all. Hey, hey, hey! Next stage is surely gonna raise the roof! Follow me! I love his little arms. He's got a little drill bit on one side. And a little hand on the other one, I think. It's not rocket science that every building needs a roof. In our game, you can build several types of roof. Starting with the simplest and most modern flat roof. Ending with multi slope roofs for the purposes of tutorial let's try hip roofs first you need to buy a proper blueprint in the shop open the store and buy hip roof blueprint excellent when you choose it and look at the top of the building you will notice a hologram oh nice use the scroll bar or arrows on the controller to adjust the roof angle very Confirm cool it when you're done Great! All 
you need now are roof beams. Buy some roof beams from the store. Nice. Now your task will be to complete all the necessary roof beams in the hologram. Remember that you can build scaffolding when working at height. Health and safety department is crossing their fingers. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, then let's clap. All right, no nailing need. That's okay. Like, again, yeah, they're saying is that they're trying to make this as fun as possible, and it definitely is quite satisfying like this. I wonder if they'll put an advanced mode where you actually have to do, like, the more tedious stuff. Uh, but this is really cool. Much better. This is where you see a development team that changes up the game. From one demo, it didn't work out at all. Honestly, it wasn't good enough to bring to y'all uh, that well. It was really rough. And you see the development team is actually making fun of it as they're going through this. I love that. I don't even think I can. Uh, I need the scaffolding for this. Thank you, enough. Was intense. Mineral wool, insulation, and plasterboard will be completed automatically so as not to create another phone clicker. Mm. We highly respect your time. Just kidding. More bearing walls. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the subject. You've already prepared the roof for the tiles. Buy a lot of roof tiles. Buy a lot of them. All right. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, on top. Look at that, just like that. Bang, 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 bang. Did I get it all? I think I got it all, didn't I? Did I miss something here? Let's go up on top here and double check it. Ah, oh, right here. You see, sometimes you're missing a little bit. Okay, there it is. Damn it, I couldn't see it for some reason. There we go. <laughs> Part of the roof is still worth completing the gutters. On most sloping roofs, gutters are installed to carry the water to the downpipes. This significantly reduces wetting of house walls during rain and snow melt. But this is already part of the finishing work. Welcome to the source of our game. We call it planner because it helps you design any house you want, which you then build. Sounds great? Yeah, definitely. You can save your projects, and if you want to, share them with other players. How cool is that? Very cool. I will guide you through the various options available. We will plan the house we have prepared to teach you how to do it. <laughs> you have four tools to use. Cursor, eraser, and add remove floor. Cursor is set by default. You can find help with every element and tool on the top left corner of the screen. Try to hide and show the help panel. Good job. Let's start with the load bearing walls. Select them from the elements. You can create walls in a line or rectangle by pressing shift or X on the controller. Draw the load-bearing walls. Oh, look at this. Good job. I messed it up, but it still worked. Now it's all let's good. draw the partition walls. We work on a small plot of land, so we cannot overdo. Remember that there are three plot sizes available in the game. Amazing. I think we still need a piece of concrete partition wall. Draw a piece of concrete partition wall. Great. What else we might need? Windows! After all, everybody likes to peep at their neighbors. Oh my god. The windows are of different sizes. Increase or decrease them as desired. The largest windows are terrace windows. Insert four windows. All right, so WS, we can actually just make it a little bigger and then place it. Beautiful. And these ones a little bit smaller, so we're going to bring this down by S. Good job! To get into rooms, we need doors. Insert two interior doors. You can rotate them freely and change the direction of the door opening. See the help panel for available options. That's very nice. I was actually just looking at it. Look, at, we actually have a problem with the door there. You can actually bring it in different areas you can want it to. 
and you can switch door handle like this either side pretty darn cool isn't it i like that a lot and yeah well it works out pretty darn good let's put that here and put that one just rotate that here i think looks nice now we need to add an external door to get inside You can check any time whether the building meets the minimum criteria. Now let's put the stairs in. You are free to rotate them, but for the purpose of the tutorial, place them in the indicated position. Nice! I think we should add a floor. Add a floor by clicking on the option available next to the eraser. Great! Now you can move freely between levels. Everything you did on the ground floor, you can do on the first floor. Except for swimming pools and paths, but that's common sense, right? <laughs> the load-bearing walls of the building go from level to level as the base of the building, and you can't move them after adding a floor. Now, we could also put in a swimming pool and paths. Let's go to the ground floor. A swimming pool is simply a rectangle for which you need enough space to designate it. Draw a swimming pool next to your house. All right. Good job. I think we might need some path to the swimming pool, don't you think? Let's choose a path, increase it a little, and draw it to the end of the pool. After you mark out the path, you put paving stones in their place. Great. Let's check that we have everything. Amazing! Let's save this project. Call it how you like. We'll do it as a test, I guess. Oop, we actually put it in here. Uh, test number one. There we go. <laughs> Let's do that. Great! Now you'll be able to build this on any available level on the medium plot of land. The largest plot is huge! So lots of creative fun ahead. However, if you don't want to spend time designing houses, you can use the random option. See you later. Well, that's the end of the tutorial right there. We maybe test out the actual planner and stuff and go and do it ourselves. Maybe try and build our own house. Again, if you guys or girls want to see more of this, make sure you take time, hit the like button. If you're brand new, please go and subscribe. I'd like to actually do it with you. Uh, I think this is really cool. Great tutorial, a lot of fun to learn, a lot of good mechanics to make it easier for us to play. I'm actually digging it quite a bit. So hopefully you guys and girls enjoyed. Please again, take the time, show some love. You guys are absolutely the best. This Game Edge, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.